We are backstage at the Diamond Awards with the host of this evening's event, Christy Sutherland. And Christy, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Oh, thank you for having me, Ken. This is a wonderful event. Yes, I, I love the Diamond Awards. This is my second year to co-host. And um, it's really neat because the, all the awards are fan voted. So um, it, it's just, as an artist, it's really cool to, to be nominated for them. And, and last year I won the Christian Female Vocalist of the That's Year. Right. And that was exciting. And um, I'm hosting this year with Beyond the Ashes. They're a great group. They're up for a couple awards tonight. So we're going to have a good time. And of course, this is before the actual event, uh, but we will mention that uh, you've been nominated in several different categories. Yeah, I'm, I'm up in five different categories, so I'm pretty excited. Wow. Now, you have a really interesting story about the current CD and uh, the mm -hmm. single from it. Um, we didn't realize until just recently your relationship with the uh, Barbara Mandrell family. But tell, yes. us, tell us about the recording and how that happened. Well, um, Let's see, I just got out of the studio doing my brand new album, and I, as you mentioned, my mother-in-law is Barbara Mandrell, and she's been retired for 14 years, and she came out of retirement to co-produce this record with me, and um, the first single we released was He Grew the Tree. It's on radio stations now, and Mom Barbara was the first artist to record that song. She recorded it in the early 80s. Um, lots of people have recorded it, but to our knowledge, it had never been released as a single, so we released it around Easter time, and um, it's pretty cool to think that one day, you know, I had a DJ tell me this. He said, we're going to play this every Easter, he said, and, and your grandkids will hear their grandmother singing it. And I said, they'll hear their great-grandmother singing it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we had a great time in the studio. I've got the next single that will be out in a few months is one that I wrote. Um, it's a duet with Jason Crabb called Greater Still. And... Um, just record a bunch of my new compositions and some old favorites. So it, it should be out in family Christian bookstores in a couple of months. Okay. Did you grow up singing in a singing family? Yes. My mother sings. Uh, her name is Cynthia Siemens. And I grew up singing with my mama in South Texas. We sang in churches and country opera shows, family reunions, wherever they let us sing. Did you know or did you, uh, did you look for the uh, full-time position in, the, in this field? Yes, um, not in this particular field. Actually, I started out as a country singer. Um, since I was four years old, I remember telling my, my teachers and uh, Sunday school teachers at church that I wanted to be a country singer. So when I was 18, I moved to Nashville, and uh, some years later, I was a recording artist for Sony Records. Played the Grand Ole Opry every month. I had a song on the country charts, and you know, I remember thinking everything's going the way I wanted it to go. And then within three days, I lost everything. I lost my publishing deal I'd had for 10 years, which was getting paid to write songs. So it was my livelihood. Mm -hmm. um, lost my record deal that Thursday. And it was in the weeks following that that God called me into the ministry. And I, I actually heard him out loud. It's the only time in my life I've heard him speak to me out loud. I don't know if you would have heard him, but I heard him. Yeah. And he told me he wanted me to sing for him. And, uh, you know, I want people to understand I was in the Word of God every day. I was a believer. I believed that country music was the mission field I was supposed to be in. So when the Lord said this to me, I was very Jewish. I argued for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> me and Moses, you know. Yeah. Um, it's the only way I can put myself in the same category as mm -hmm. Moses. But anyway, um, I said to the Lord, but you opened all these doors. And he said, yes, but, you know, this is a new season. And so I began um, writing songs about him, and nearly all of them were recorded. Sandy Patty recorded one, Kim Hopper triumphant quartet. Um, so I say I was kind of dra dragged into the ministry. I love it. I can't imagine doing anything else. But I didn't originally start out doing this, but I did know I would always sing. I knew yeah. that that's what I was born to do. Okay, that is, that is wonderful. Tell me the name of the, uh, that new CD again. Uh -oh. <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> it is called Greater Still. Okay. <laughs> You threw me off guard there. And uh, Christy Sutherland website. It's christysutherland.net. Okay. Christy, thank you very much for talking to us on Gospel Music today. Oh, thank you for having me.